We are in an unusual and an unfortunate position. But first, I want to be certain and clear that I could not be more proud to represent and to serve a group of young men and a men's basketball team uh, that I have the privilege of representing each and every day. This is an extremely talented group of young men, an extremely tough group of young men that are doing all the right things. They are representing Texas Tech in a first-class manner on the court and off the court. This is a group of young men that had a 3.3 team grade point average at the end of the fall semester. And again, could not be more proud of the young men that we're representing and serving each and every day. That being said, I am very concerned about the information that has come forward in the past couple of weeks. We're dealing with two components. We're dealing with NCAA, with an NCAA rules component and we're dealing with a personnel component. Related to the NCAA rules component, we are aware of alleged secondary rules violations and in accordance with Texas Tech policy, we are looking in and investigating those secondary allegations. If these allegations are found to be true, then we will submit those to both the Big 12 Conference as well as the NCAA. There are certain secondary violations that were investigated and were submitted to the NCAA in January related to the number of countable practice hours. Those inquiries at that time were investigated, they were submitted, and those sanctions have been served already by our program. Related to the personnel matter, Coach Gillespie and I were scheduled to meet last Friday morning at 8 o'clock. As you know, he was admitted to the hospital prior to that time, and obviously we have not had a chance to get together to discuss the issues that are on the table. Remain concerned about Coach Gillespie's health. We want him to make a full recovery and um, move forward with that. What I can assure you of is that we will continue to gather facts and we will continue to move forward with the NCAA rules component as well as the personnel component as expeditiously as possible.